When planning mini lessons, teachers will often dive down into specific assessments and identify individuals who may need pulling for additional support. For example, anyone with a dark orange or red may be on the list to pull a group of three to perhaps no more than eight people up to a group setting where the teacher can intervene with a lesson of their own ranging from using manipulatives to additional assessments and real-time on-air intervention to help diagnose and reteach specific concepts. Mini lessons can be built based on student need in this way or it could be that some students are skipping or not working on specific tasks and need to be brought together to work together to feel more confident to work on them. They could be writing tasks or perhaps how to demonstrate taking notes or just on a specific, uh, specific concept. Another way to look at the data and determine who you want to build mini lessons for is either based on study time with students working too fast for, through things or moving out a level and looking across multiple lessons, trying to identify people who are in very different places. For example, if it's a group of people who happen to be working on a specific lesson or are perhaps multiple units apart, the teacher may work with a group who happen to still be in this example, unit one versus a bunch who happen to be in unit three. Perhaps some are moving at an even quicker pace and happen to be up in unit five. So basing mini lessons based on location throughout the curriculum is one method, based on specific high need is another, and based on avoiding doing specific tasks is even another.